Hello, and welcome to Jazz Festival Training. I'll be your narrator for today's session. It is your musical duty to be here today, and for that, we salute you. Let us begin with the basics. First things first, you will be getting a long sleeve t-shirt and a badge. The shirt is yours to keep. The badge must be returned by the end of the week. Thank you. Sergeant Krusty warns you right now, if you miss your shift or are late, he will hunt you down and steal your shoelaces. As you can see, there are two soldiers on the screen and one director. The registrar is on the left, guide number one is on the right, and the director is in the middle. The registrar is in charge of checking groups in, taking the bibliography forms from the directors, handing the bibliography forms to guide number one, and they give the directors their meal tickets and concert tickets. Guide number one is in charge of taking the groups to their warm-up room. Guide one takes the director from the registration table to their warm-up room. Guide one then waits in the warm-up room with the band until guide number two shows up to take over. Guide 1 then takes the bibliography forms to the adjudicators. When he has delivered the bibliography forms, they then go back to their post at the registration table. Now we're moving on. Wait a minute, what happened to that Sergeant Krusty Shorts dude? I thought he was in charge of narration. Oh well, my hair's nicer anyway. Moving on to guide number 2. Guide number two is in charge of the warm-up room. He gives his group a five-minute warning before they go up. At five minutes to performance time, they march upstairs. Guide two then tells his group that guide three will be taking them to their clinic room, and they should clear the stage when done and wait for guide three to take them to their clinic room because they are grabbing the DVD. When on stage, he'll let his group get ready. When they are set, he'll announce them in his best announcing voice. And now, the main event for the evening is... Then, he returns to his post in the warm-up room. Next, we'll stop to look at our camcorder operators. Their first order of duty is that they must remember to only use the remote when operating the camcorder. They should not press any buttons on the camcorder except to focus the camera on the group. The first thing they do is to focus the camera on each group as they are preparing to perform. They then insert the DVD and they wait for it to load. It may ask you to initialize the DVD when you put it in. Arrow over with the remote and click over to yes and hit enter. Press record on the remote to start recording. When the group is finished, hit stop on the remote. Pay attention here or you will cause the entire world to stop. Do not finalize the DVD or everything will fail. There are two camcorder operators, two at each venue and there are two different venues. One will be in the performance area and the other will be in the clinic room. The one in the performance hall will have a stack of DVDs and will just keep putting them in as groups come up to perform. When the group is done, he will hand them off to the guide number three when each group is done performing. Let's move on to guide number three. Guide three will be posted up in the performance hall. When the group is done, they get the DVD from the camcorder operator. They will take the group from the performance area to the clinic room. They will hand off the DVD to the second camcorder operator. Then they will return to their post in the performance hall. Now we will discuss guide number four's jobs. Guide four waits by the clinic room. While they are waiting for each group to get done clinicking, the adjudicator liaison should be bringing them the bibliography form of the adjudicator in the performance hall. When each group is done clinicking, Guide 4 grabs the bibliography form from the clinic adjudicator. Then they grab the DVD from the can quarter operator. 
When their group is ready to go, they must convince them to get their picture taken. Some groups will go, others will need persuading. Reasons for getting pictures? Their school gets a free picture. We need it for our records. We have a contract with the picture company. Then you take them to the picture room in CE 217. At this point, guide number four, if you have not received the second bibliography form from the adjudicator liaison, you need to track them down and find it. When you have found the second bibliography form, you can turn it in to FA 303 and return to your post in the clinicking area. Last but not least, we have the adjudicator liaison. The adjudicator liaison is in charge of making sure the adjudicators have food and drink, and also make sure that guide number four gets the bibliography form from the adjudicators. So let us review our jobs. The registrar is in charge of checking groups in and making sure they have their meal and concert tickets. They also make sure the bibliography forms are in order. Guide 1 takes each group to their warm-up room and makes sure the next guide is at their post. They then take bibliography forms to the adjudicators in the performance hall. Guide 2 watches the practice room. At 10 minutes to performance time, they give the group a 5-minute warning. At 5 minutes till, they march the group upstairs. Then tells them to wait for Guide 3 to move on to the clinic room. They announce the group and then return to their post in the practice room. Guide 3 starts in the performance hall. They wait for each group to finish their clinic in the performance hall, then they grab the DVD from the camcorder operator, and then they guide their group to the clinician room. When they get to the clinician room, they hand the DVD to the camcorder operator in the clinic room. When they have done this, they return to their post in the performance hall. Guide 4 watches the group as they clinic. When the group is done clinicking, they grab the DVD from the camcorder operator, then they grab the bibliography form from the adjudicator, and they convince each group to get their pictures taken. When they're done taking their group to the picture room, they head to 303A, making sure they have both bibliography forms and the DVD. If they do not have all three things, they need to track them down and make sure they get them to us or the entire jazz festival will come to a stop. The camcorder operators simply run the camcorders. The performance hall camcorder operator runs the camera in the performance hall and hands the DVD to guide number three. The clinic camcorder operator hands the DVD to guide four when their group is finished. The adjudicator liaison is in charge of tending to the adjudicators, restocking food and drink, and making sure they're happy. They're also in charge of getting the second bibliography form to guide number four. Thank you, students, for all your hard work and dedication to the Jazz Festival. This year's festival has lots of exciting new things planned, and we are excited to have you along for the ride.